Hello everybody and welcome back. And or let's workshop a new intro. Hello everybody and welcome to the show. I don't like that one either. Adam has such a good one and <laughs> I don't know how I can top it. Not that I'm trying to. What's up my peers? <laughs> Today, I will be reacting to Legend of Tomorrow season five, episode seven, titled Romeo v. Juliet and the Dawn of Justness or something. Romeo and Juliet and the Dawn of Justness. Either way, it's got Romeo and Juliet in the title. So in the last episode, was very Ray and Nora heavy. Ray wants to propose to Nora. Damien Dark was the encore. He showed up. Madness ensued. Shenanigans ensued. And we were left with Ray and Nora getting married, which was a very sweet scene. One of the sweetest scenes in Legends, I feel. And Damien offed himself to go back to hell and seemed like he had turned over a new leaf, kind of, even though he was going back to hell anyway for his previous transgressions in his mortal life. But in any case, now it kind of seems like Ray and Nora will be leaving the show at some point or maybe had already after that episode, we don't know yet. They're all searching for the loom of fate now to bring Astra's mom back to prevent her from doing any more of the encores and she spared Constantine's life because he promised her he could make that happen. Charlie is apparently a Greek fate, one of the three fates, Clotho. She was the weaver of the loom. The other two, the snipper and the allotter, the one who I guess decides the length of your thread, um, are her sisters and they're coming after her to kill her because she destroyed the loom and basically gave everybody their free will back, which is like, we didn't know that Charlie, we just thought she was some kind of shape-shifting, wisecracking badass, and she's actually more of a badass because she's a immortal Greek being who controlled the fate of everyone in the universe for a length of time. So that's crazy. And not to mention the fact that she gave it all up to give people back their free will, like the hero she is. It's, it's wacky and as great as ever. And I am just really excited to potentially get a little bit of Zarly in this episode. It's all I can ask for. I don't ask for much. It's what I'm asking for today. So let's jump in to episode seven. Is he packing up? Oh, he's packing up. The best episode. Maybe it's time for us to move on and move out together. Oh, hey. But you don't want to leave the ship. Listen, I want to build a life. Do one last mission with the team. Say goodbye. Aw, and nobody wow. knows. We're doing this. Nobody's gonna know that it's his last mission and he's gonna be trying okay. to make it really special. Okay. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Come on, is she still in there? Oh, let me guess, sorry. Huh? I'm like all waiting for the bathroom, it's amazing. Hey, what happened to the sign up she had? I told John we happened to find the name of Faina. Uh, you know the one. <laughs> She's a toothbrush behind her ear, like a fucking, like a badass. If my sister ever leaves the bathroom! loud it's fucking early this is everything that i've always wanted from from this show is to kind of like explore their domestic habits and how they all have to share one bathroom Can I pretend like you don't nora and i you're moving out mm -hmm. how'd you know that well you got married next logical step in a relationship and by the way i, I love how he's drinking a beer it's probably like eight in the morning <laughs> you two going at it like jackrabbits last night mm, someone's getting it. Who said that? <laughs> Who said that? At least someone's getting it. Who said that? How are you gonna tell me? Tell me what? What? Mm -hmm. Nate doesn't know, and he's protecting his bro, his bromance. Nora, welcome to your new morning routine, Uptown. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Her rolling. Damn, she looks good. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. And complete. Charlie is checking it out. Also, what is it? Mona. Surprise! Is Mona rejoining the show? I'm sent to hug you. I say just get it over with, and then you guys can enjoy your last hoorah together. Say goodbye, Nate. It's my biggest mission yet. No. Yeah. I did go to the moon once. So. I really love that they made them such a like romantic couple. You know, 
There's not a whole lot of relationships on TV that are friendships between men that are just really strong. That might not be true, I think there are, but this one is special. Second fixed. By rewriting Master's life and setting her on the right path. Yeah, speaking of life changes. Sarah. This will be a life changing experience for you. And uh, speaking of uh, moves. Why are you being such an instigator, Sarah? Let him tell, look at his face. He doesn't want that. Let him tell him on his own terms. Affirmative, Captain. And speaking of setting a new course. <laughs> of course. Enjoy the jolly old London, ya blokes. <laughs> yeah, Charlie and Constantine are like, it's the best you could do, really. That was, frankly, offensive. <laughs> I'm offended. <laughs> you didn't tell me you were friends with the real William Shakespeare. Oh, wow, good for her. Pardon the intrusion, squire. I know not of what you speak, good constables. And why should anyone hand me a ring? Do I appear as a jeweler to nine eyes? It's a pity! Oh, <laughs> don't harass William. He's just trying to write his plays. Because that ring was stolen from the lie about its whereabouts. <laughs> Let's just say heads would roll. Yes, yes. Threatening to remove me of hands by way of sword if I can't finish. Thus <laughs> to remove me of hands by way of sword. Oh my god. Someone needs to remove my soul by way of Zarly right now. Gave him the ring. Ava, you need me? Sorry, is this an intervention? No, 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 no. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I don't really have time to talk about books. The thing about book love is, uh, I don't really talk about books. Mm -mm. What do you talk about? Can you start talking about, can you start talking about Charlie? Because that's what I want to hear about. Because book club is... And I have the perfect plan. We have the element of surprise. Oh my god. <laughs> so I say, I'll repel down while he's totally distracted. A plan well, flash and forward. And I'll next to Nate. And then... Wait, Ray, are you crying? <laughs> it's just a, a little this merge from the shadows per year. <laughs> oh man. He's like, I will not be doing that. And then we go to Star City, we pick up Wild Dog, and we. Hey, story time's over. I got it. Who is Wild Dog? And why do they know him? How the hell did you do that? Which is why we should uh, get moving for that next loom piece, yeah? It's uh, time for you to go. Here. You still have several pieces left to right, go. Where you are. What club is it can help you figure out where your true path is supposed to be? Oh, so this is a cult. <clears throat> no, 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 no. We don't need <laughs> That's triggering for her. Don't use certain C words. Cult. Clone. I would know. <laughs> These are our trigger words. You must become familiar with them. So what do you think, Sorry? Can book club help you? about your feelings for Charlie? Maybe. We got it covered. We're good. Well, great. Then uh, keep us posted and be safe. Copy that. And we're all going to be partying and Charlie is with the boys group because she's going to talk about her feelings for Zari. <sighs> don't come to these reactions if you don't want a Zari rant. That's just don't. If there's a way to discover what he's after, maybe you could get it for yourself. Hun, stop I know a putting I ideas in her head, weirdo. Pensieve? He's an ex pirate which you sure you're ready? We're not ready for any of this, or willing to watch it. I just want to say thank you for this uh, bachelor party. You're the best friend. Is everyone going to be wasted together on the Wave Rider? Because <laughs> I would really, really approve. Guy can, can't stop thinking about her. Aww. It's a good thing, Mick. Aww, <laughs> she's an adult person. It's called love. You have an adult child. <laughs> oh my god. We're getting wasted on the wave rider. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. They got a time traveling stripper. Hey. And they're having a sob you, fest. Uh, fellowship of the ring. Here's again to the first piece of the Loom of Destiny here. Don't say that out loud. Yeah, the Spear of Fate. Mm. Do you remember the totems? Mm, the totems? <laughs> I met Elvis. I mean, it's the Loom of Fate. <laughs> Do you remember the totems? <laughs> I met Elvis. <laughs> Love the reminiscing of, of all of these memories. And now she's seeing this and she's spying. 
Yeah, someone's sneaking on you. This is his natural habitat, <laughs> fighting with people in a bar. Are we just flaunting our magic powers now in the middle of a bar in 1560 whatever London? Speak to me! Not so easy to spy on John Constantine, is it? Oh my god, the thing was just flying around bodiless. I know, I know, it's pointing the wrong way. Y'all fucking idiots. Oh my god. Did Zari know what was happening? Or, I mean, Charlie? <laughs> Did he get mind wiped? Yeah, uh oh. Is everyone gonna have to drunk solve this mystery? <laughs> Fix this problem? Look at this! Shakespeare is writing superhero plays? Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Who are you? <laughs> Stripper says it's gonna be a problem. I cannot believe you guys! I put you in charge of the mission and you lied to me! You, you lied to me! <laughs> They're all drunk. <laughs> This is what we've always wanted, honestly. Have I not said before that I well wanted I wanted them all to get drunk on the way rider? So why to why you could just you could go party? We need to get out there and fix history. What's that? History. Time. We gotta fix time. Um question the capital. What? <laughs> Are you sloshed? Follow-up question, why is there glitter on your face? See this fine gentleman out, thank you. With pleasure. Let's go, <laughs> Charlie. Go you're right. such a funny guy. The moment I tell him, then this all becomes real. My decision, I don't... Are they just not drunk anymore? They're just like, ooh, okay. I don't know if I'm really ready for it. But because we embraced the change... We made history. And became legends of tomorrow. Sure did. Who would have thought that we'd still be here? And that we'd be saying goodbye already. Are they the two OGs left? Mick was an OG. Now learning how to work more as a team. Yes. Come here. We have much to discuss. Now I understand why you've written this new version of the play. You don't want Romeo and Juliet's story to end. Exactly. I love the characters, so... Well, you know, you're just gonna have to kill them both. Uh, as tradition, so... But if you truly love the characters, don't they deserve a great ending? Aw. This is so meta. I have always known what I've done here. I and leaving my team for a new adventure. Oh, wait, can he hear them on the comms? Or is he just eavesdropping on this right now? Very well. I shall do what is needed. Alrighty. All right, before this heartfelt moment, we gotta pause. And we'll be back for the end of the bromance in part two.